Last night, as I was celebrating both Father's Day and my kid's birthday, happy birthday, by the way, I received this email. This email comes from Bluehost, and it says that I earned a commission. So literally, while I was overserved, I actually made money. And in this video, I'm going to show you and tell you exactly what I did so that you can do it too. Hello, my name is Austin Godbolt, and as a successful affiliate marketer, I have earned commissions with everything from security cameras to sound bars, stand mixers, microwaves, web hosting, and even online courses. If you want real affiliate marketing tips, tricks, and tactics, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified when I upload a brand new video. Also, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start for my free four-step cheat sheet to make money online with things that you already own. All right, so in this video, we're basically going to peel back the covers on how you can start making money with affiliate marketing and a blog. And this can work for any niche. I'm just going to show you what I did so that you can replicate this for your own niche. So the first thing that you need to do, obviously, is you need to go out and get a domain name and web hosting. Now, when it comes to a domain name and web hosting, you want to make it so that it's general enough that you can create content in all sorts of areas, but not too general where no one's really going to understand. The domain name isn't really that important. What's more important is that you get up and writing. So after you have your domain name and web hosting, I'll actually put a link in the description to my preferred domain name and web hosting for beginners. But after you have your domain name and web hosting, you obviously want to install WordPress. WordPress is a content management system that allows you to quickly write blog posts. It's already configured for search engine optimization or SEO. And once you have that, it's time to get down and start writing. Now, what I recommend that you do is first you want to pick your niche. Your niche is just going to be your area where you're creating content. Once you have your niche, for example, my website, austingodbolt.com, talks about affiliate marketing and making money online. So once you have that set up, the next step, believe it or not, is to go over to a website like Ahrefs. Ahrefs is a tool that I use to help me find low competition, high search volume keywords where I can write and establish some authority. So this is basically what I do. This is what you can do in your niche. I come over to the Keyword Explorer and I'll type in something like affiliate program, affiliates program, like this. And when I type in affiliate program, you see that the word affiliate program is really difficult. But if we look at the matching terms, there are keywords that are both easy and difficult. For example, if we take a look at this here, you can see the keyword difficulty is this number in the in the middle. It's a scale between zero and 100. The closer you get to 100, the more difficult that it's going to be. And so a word like Amazon affiliate program, really competitive a word or phrase like Nike affiliate program is much less competitive. You can see here that there are varying levels of difficulty for all sorts of keywords. Now this is exactly what I did to start writing. And just to show you exactly what I've done, let's take a look at a few examples. So if I go over to Google, I'm just going to paste in Pottery Barn affiliate program. And if we take a look, I scroll down here, Vigilink, DCM Network, Pottery Barn, Affiliate Patel, and then right here, I am the fourth or fifth one down, Pottery Barn Affiliate Program plus 10 days, 10 ways to make money. And so basically what I do here is I just write on the Pottery Barn Affiliate Program. I talk about what it is. Basically when I write down, or when I sit down to write something, I address it with who, what, when, where, why, and how. I'll take five or 10 minutes to brainstorm uh, and write down questions, who, what, when, where, why, how, with regard to Pottery Barn affiliate program. And I'll sit here and I'll just write, ask and answer these questions throughout my blog post. How much do they pay? These are things that people are going to want to know. I answer that question in a written format and I show them how to get started. In addition, I'll write and I'll show you how to make money with the Pottery Barn affiliate program. But what I did is I went back over here and I just found low competition keywords and I just wrote on them. It's as really as simple as that. I'll change the keyword difficulty to 10 or less so that I have a fighting chance because I'm still a teeny tiny blog that doesn't get a ton of traffic when you compare it to other people. But you can see Nike, Sheen, Home Depot, um, Sheen, for example, Sheen, Sheen gets 1.2 thousand searches per month and it has a keyword difficulty of four. This is potentially something that someone could write on and rank. So if we look at this, I'm just going to paste this in just like that. Sheen affiliate program, that is A1 DCM network, Sheen, Glasso. You can see here that people are 
um, kind of writing indirectly, but you could do this exact same thing and get tons of traffic. Now, that's how I get traffic to my, my blog or my website. Now, how do I actually make commissions? It's really simple. If we scroll down here, and this actually might be a bad example of it, but I'll actually put in both text links as well as image links inside of my blog. If we go back here, I'm gonna scroll through. Here is an example of how I get people to click. You can see this looks like an image. New seven day training to learn affiliate marketing. When people click on this, this actually goes to my course. But look at this one, start your first website today. And you can actually make this really, really easy. To do this, I go over to a website called Flat Icon like this. And then I can find something like website. And this is going to be an image. So we'll do website, come on, website like this, hit enter and then find an image. Once you find an image, you can head on over to Canva like this, and then you can actually make this exact thing and put it into your, your blog. And this actually stands out and it gets people to click, gets people to click. You can see that this works over and over again. This is how I was able to earn a commission. Now, the other part, the obvious part is you, you go and you sign up for different affiliate programs within your niche and you just follow the same process. But I typed in website here, you can see there are all sorts of them and you can download one of these for free. Once you download one of these for free, we're just gonna grab this one for example and then you're gonna come over to Canva. Canva is 100% free. You're gonna create basically a graphic that you can insert into your into your website but it's really as easy as this you create the image let's just grab one real quick uh, let's see we're going to create a design and we are going to do custom size like this so we're going to do we're going to create a design go 1000 by 200 create new design and this kind of gives us a pretty good idea of what we're looking for and then we're going to click show in folder and i'm going to drag that that image that we just downloaded I'm going to drag that right into my right into my Canva canvas here. And as you can see, just like this. And then let's see, this will load. Drag this over here like this. And again, it's really easy. You can do this. And then we're going to add a little bit of text like this. And we're going to put in a heading. And you're going to see this looks just like what I've done over here. Start your first website today. Add text. Start. Whoops. Start your first website today. I promise you I can spell website today just like this. And then we can increase the size like this. And then what we want to do is we want to turn this blue like this. And then we want to underline it so that people think that this is a clickable link. And you're just going to download this to your computer. And then you're going to import this right into your blog. So just to recap, the steps are really simple. You go out, pick a niche once you've got your domain name and web hosting. You can come over to a tool like a Ahrefs. And you can just type in your, your keyword or your keyword phrase. You can type in something like... Um, we can type in something like can dogs eat like this, hit enter, whoops, let's do dogs and so does can dogs eat, hit enter and you're going to see once again that there are 4.1 million monthly searches, 39,000 keywords, change the keyword difficulty to 10 or less so that gives you a chance to compete. And then you go out and you just answer the questions. The key for me, in my opinion, is who, what, when, where, why, how. If you take 10 minutes to brainstorm these questions, that's going to help you write much quicker on the back end. For example, um, can dogs eat popcorn? You're going to sit down and ask yourself, um, can dogs eat popcorn? What is popcorn? What is popcorn made of? Why dogs may be able to eat it? Why dogs can't eat it? Alternatives? things that dogs should definitely stay away from within the popcorn niche. What happens if your dog eats popcorn? Will he get sick? How much popcorn can they eat before they start to have a negative adverse reaction? Can dogs eat popcorn kernels? Or, you know, can dogs eat 
different special types of corn. You know, they've got the, the Thanksgiving display corn or whatever. But if you sit down and you take five or 10 minutes and you just think of all the questions and who, what, when, where, why, and how, that will actually help you write much faster. And then you can actually make money with your blog. Obviously, you'd want to go out and find different affiliate programs for um, if your dog gets sick or maybe, you know, different foods that they might be able to eat or they would like to eat and you can make money. But it's really as easy as that. What you wanna make sure that you're doing is you wanna make sure that you are consistently creating blog posts if you wanna start your blog because the worst thing you could do is you could start your blog and then say, oh, I'm, I'm not seeing any success and then stop. If you do that, you're definitely going to not see the success that you're hoping for. But if you continuously write, upload, write, you know, three, four, five times per week, targeting these low competition keywords, you can find the success that you're looking for. Now that you know how I was able to earn a commission while I was sitting around doing nothing, click the first link in the description for my free four-step cheat sheet to make money online with things that you already own. Click the first link in the description or go to alstingodbolt.com forward slash start. Watch these videos next for more tips and tricks to make money online. Also check out my website, alstingodbolt.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.